Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Bristol Community College Student Award Ceremony. My name is Kate O'Hara. I am the Vice President of Student Services and Enrollment Management, and I am your host for this evening's ceremony. Tonight, we are here to recognize students who have shown exceptional academic growth and development, and those who have made significant contributions in service and leadership. Tonight, we recognize the students who have worked to create and engage a vision for what an active and vibrant campus life at Bristol can be. And we are here tonight to honor our students for what they have given to us and for all that we hope they will continue to do in the future. Before we begin, I have a couple of housekeeping items. In an emergency, the exits are toward the back of the auditorium and behind the stage. This evening, some of our award recipients will be joining us on stage to be recognized, while others will be standing at their seats. Once the ceremony ends, please pick up all your awards in the lobby where you checked in. Now, I am pleased to introduce Dr. Laura Douglas, President of Bristol Community College. Thank you, Kate, and good evening, everyone. It is truly my privilege and honor to welcome all of you to our Student Awards celebration. The awards that will be presented tonight cross many programs of study, interests, and distinctions. They are presented by members of the college community who have worked hard all year long to ensure that you have received a quality education. The scholarships that are being presented have been made possible by our generous donors who believe in your talent and possibilities. Those sitting beside you tonight, your family and friends, have supported you. Whether it was a long study night, helping with childcare, lending and listening ear, or maybe even a word of encouragement. We are all proud of you, and you deserve this recognition and celebration of your accomplishments. As you continue your journey, look back on tonight. Remember all that you have celebrated, and never stop believing that your dreams are within reach. It is now my pleasure to introduce Joan Medeiros, Chair of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees. Good evening, everyone. As the Chair of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my honor to offer the college's very best wishes and congratulations to all of you this evening. Our student award celebration is one of my favorite celebrations of the year. We are able to take time to acknowledge the achievements of our students who have excelled academically and personally throughout their college careers. We welcome our faculty, staff, students, family, friends, and dignitaries that joined us tonight. I would like to thank all of you for your supporting our students and our college. To our students, let your time here at Bristol remind you of your determination and potential. We will, be, we will always be here to support you. By reaching this level of academic achievement, you will continue to be role models, leaders, and extraordinary citizens. It is now my pleasure to introduce Kimberly Newton, Professor, Professor of English and Coordinator for the Commonwealth Honors Program. All righty, here we go. 
All right. Bristol Community College Commonwealth Honors Program offers over 150 outstanding students the chance to participate in honors classes, interdisciplinary honors seminars, and honors component projects. These students elect to enroll in classes that require them to meet scholastic challenges that rise above and beyond the usual college level rigor. They share the same challenges as many at Bristol, balancing their studies with jobs, caring for family members, and actively participating in their communities. I'm humbled by all that you have accomplished and proud of your success. On Student Awards Night, the Commonwealth Honors Program recognizes the students in the program who've chosen to undertake these additional scholastic opportunities. Honor students who have completed at least three honors experiences and have worked successfully with a faculty mentor to produce and present a significant capstone interdisciplinary research project, all done while maintaining a GPA of at least 3.45. Tonight, we award these students with honors cords and recognize them as Commonwealth Honors Scholars. Would all of our 2024 Commonwealth Honors Scholars, if you're able, please join me on the stage as I call your name. Juan Carlos Alberto. <laughs> Melinda Amarantes, <laughs> Ashley Barrett, <laughs> Jamie Gravett, <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Hadley Hunt. Kayla Pacheco. <laughs> Eric Turner. <laughs> Ezekiel Davies. <laughs> Mariella Gonzalez. Kayla. Stephanie Hell. Hey, <laughs> Ridge Matthew. Adriana Medeiros. Haley Schramm. Jocelyn Valentin. And last but not least, Maya Walker. Thank you. Yay. Yay. And now I'd like to welcome Kate O'Hara to the podium. Thank you, Kim, and congratulations again to our honor students. Having viewed many of your projects at the Honor Showcase, I applaud you for your work and for your commitment. Our next awards are the Curriculum Awards and Foundation Scholarships. Curriculum Awards are given to students who are recognized for perseverance and high academic quality. They are presented in two distinct categories, one for high academic achievement and one for perseverance and growth. To hand out this year's curriculum awards and foundation scholarships with us tonight are the leaders of Bristol's academic divisions. First up, please welcome the Dean of Arts and Humanities, Jennifer Punello. Good evening. I will be presenting the curriculum awards and foundation scholarships for Arts and Humanities. As I call your name, please come to the stage to be recognized. The recipients for the Curriculum Awards for Arts and Humanities for Perseverance and Growth are Kelsey Brady, Web Design Certificate. Aaron
Lauren Costa, Art Transfer, Animation and Motion Graphics. Alexander Krausick, Communication. Molly Logan, Liberal Arts Humanities. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Arts and Humanities are Ashley Barrett, Art Transfer Graphic Design. <laughs> Catalin Benoit, Art Transfer Fine Arts. <laughs> Catalin is also the recipient of the John Stober Art Award, fourth place. Glizella Figueroa Rosario, Graphic Design Certificate. <laughs> Guadalupe Garcia Carrillo, Art Transfer Graphic Design. <laughs> Guadalupe is also the recipient of the Ron Lister Professor Emeritus Design Award. Paige Godwin, Communication. <laughs> Jamie Gravitt, Art Transfer, Web Design and Media Arts. <laughs> Jamie is also the recipient of the Art and Design Award, Graphic Design. Jill Law, Art Transfer, Fine Arts. <laughs> Moogie Logan, Art Transfer, Fine Arts. <laughs> Selma Montero, Art Transfer, Graphic Design. <laughs> Haley Schramm, Art Transfer, Graphic Design. Haley is also the recipient of the Jessica M. Raposa 2005 Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Cordelia Thorne, Theater. <laughs> Cordelia is also the recipient of the Helen Marie Booth Theater Award. It is now my pleasure to hand out the remaining Arts and Humanities Foundation Awards. The Art and Design Award, Animation and Motion Graphic, goes to Nov Maling. The Art and Design Award, Fine Arts, goes to Abby Grundy. Abby is also the recipient of the Ron Lister Professor Emeritus Fine Art Award. <laughs> the Art and Design Award Foundation goes to Holly Banville, Soleil Baptiste, and Charlie Lucio. The Art and Design Award Web Design goes to Dylan Michael. The Jeanette Denning Writing Award Non-Research-Based Writing goes to Mal Melissa Costera. The Jesse E. Richardson Art Award goes to Savannah Bankert. The John Stober Art Award, first place goes to Lily Taylor. The John Stober Art Award, second place goes to Juliana Gagnon.
The John Stober Art Award third place goes to Rujili Giat. The John Stober Art Award fourth place, fourth place goes to Catalin Benoit. The Professor Marion Wilner Art Award goes to Molly Harrington. Congratulations to you all. I am pleased to welcome Dr. Patricia Sherblum, Dean of Behavioral and Social Sciences in Education. Good evening. I'm pleased to present the Curriculum Awards and Foundation Scholarships for Behavioral and Social Sciences in Education. As I call your name, please come to the stage to be recognized. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for Behavioral and Social Sciences in Education are Bryce Choquette, Bryce is in our Macy program. Sylvia Jones in social work. Samantha McCrowan, criminal justice transfer. And Kaylin Settler in the Macy program. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Behavioral and Social Sciences and Education are Erica Almeida, Liberal Arts, Psychology, Transfer. <laughs> Hayden Miles Caton, Liberal Arts, Concentration, History, Transfer. Kaylin Lynch, Psychology Transfer. <laughs> Jessica Marchini, General Education Studies. <laughs> Isaac Aiden Petruski, Liberal Arts, Concentration, Psychology Transfer. It is now my pleasure to hand out the remaining Behavioral and Social Sciences and Education Foundation Awards. The Charles E. Croshaw Jr. Memorial Scholarship goes to Kenneth Almeida. The David M. Moco Memorial Award goes to Emily Aponte. The Kenneth M. Kadias Memorial Scholarship Award goes to Rayshawn Santos. The Raymond J. Lavature Senior Scholarship goes to Ken Keith Lake. Congratulations to you all. I am pleased to welcome Dr. Vivian Ojadi, Associate Professor of Accounting, Chair of Department of Business Administration. Good evening. Um, before I present the awards, I want to say um, Dean Vinirega sends his regards and says, um, I should inform the business students he's unavoidably absent because he's attending his graduation in Iowa. I am pleased to present the curriculum awards and foundation scholarships for business and experiential education. As I call your name, please come to the stage to be recognized. The recipients of the curriculum award for perseverance and growth for business and inspiration education are Mackenzie Canty, Culinary Arts. <laughs> culinary Arts, Baking and Pastry. Johnny Lima, Culinary Arts. <laughs> Dr. 
Ali C. Nowicki, Business Administration Transfer. Aidan Rock, Business Administration Transfer. Amanda Scott, Business Administration Transfer. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Business and Experiential Education are Alicia Coppin, <laughs> Culinary Arts, Baking and Pastry. Michaela Concalves, Culinary Arts, Baking and Pastry. Lisa Lombardi, Management. Mackenzie Raposo, Culinary Arts, Baking and Pastry. <laughs> Tabata Toy, Business Administration Transfer. <laughs> Kara Underhill, General Studies. <laughs> it is now my pleasure to hand out the Business and Experiential Education Foundation Awards. The Andresia Goodwin Memorial Scholarship goes to Marsha Thompson. <laughs> the Chef John J. Carasimo Scholarship goes to Val Maldonado and Jacob House. The Katia Lund International Student Award goes to James Stefano Jean Baptiste. The Nick Grossi Memorial Culinary Arts Scholarship goes to Alana Robitali and Shaina Davidson. <laughs> Congratulations to you all. It is now my pleasure to welcome Dr. Dorothy Chase, Dean of Health Science and Nursing. Good evening. I am pleased to present the curriculum awards and foundation scholarships for health sciences and nursing. As I call your name, please come to the stage to be recognized. The recipients for the curriculum award for perseverance and growth for health sciences and nursing are Celia Hiller, phlebotomy certificate. Sandra Leal, Medical Assisting. <laughs> Samantha McWinney, Clinical Lab Science. <laughs> Angela Christina Vargas Lopez, Dental Hygiene. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Health Sciences and Nursing are Kristen Christensen, Occupational Therapy Assistant Program. Kristen Condon, Clinical Lab Science. Isabel Marquez, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Ethan Oliveira, Clinical Lab Science. <laughs> Laura Poulos, Medical Assisting. Amy Rodriguez, Occupational Therapy Assisting. <laughs> Ann 
It is now my pleasure to award the remaining Health Sciences and Nursing Foundation scholarships. The August I. Ryer PhD Memorial Scholarship goes to Brianna Baker. The Christopher J. Dickey Scholarship goes to Tiffany Foley. The Donna W. Castro Memorial Nursing Scholarship goes to Lily Colon, Courtney Cervant, and Amy Shronies, oh, Sharones. The Evelyn Pacheco Scholarship goes to Glacé Argier. The Jennifer Serpa Memorial Scholarship goes to Veronica DeMora. The Johanna DuPont Occupational Therapy Assistance Scholarship goes to Aubrey Davey. The John A. and Elaine F. Carr and Catherine V. Whalen Scholarship goes to Christine Fiera, Erin Kechia, and Tyler Augier. The Lucy Rose Memorial Nursing Scholarship goes to Samantha Belmore. The Marguerite G. Condon Memorial Nursing Scholarship goes to Kelly Petipas. The Marie B. Mayloff Memorial Scholarship goes to Daisha Lee and Megan Field. The Marie Marshall Nursing Scholarship goes to Matthew Adams. The Mullins Family Nursing Scholarship goes to Jesse Hicks. The Richard and Doris Quick Quirk Nursing Scholarship goes to Nora Johnson. The Ruth E. Hurley Nursing Award goes to Lucia Creador. The Truesdale Hospital Nursing Alumni Association Scholarship goes to Paul Saucier. The Union Hospital School of Nursing Alumni Scholarship goes to Hannah Levitt. Congratulations, everyone. It is now my pleasure to welcome Dr. Adrian Foster Scharf, Dean of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Good evening. I'm pleased to present the Curriculum Awards and Foundation Scholarships for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. As I call your name, please come to the stage to be recognized. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth are Mateus Andrade for Computer Information Systems, Computer Science Transfer. Anthony Lee for Computer Information Systems, Computer Science Transfer. <laughs> Abigail McGarrickle for Biology. Austin R. Scott for Computer Information Systems, Cybersecurity, and Digital Forensics. <laughs> the 
The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math are Brandon Blanchard for Engineering Science Transfer. <laughs> Nicholas Botello for Computer Information Systems, Computer Networking. <laughs> Nicholas is also the recipient of the Computer Information Systems Computer Networking Award. <laughs> Calvin DeSorcy for Computer Information Systems Cybersecurity and Digital Forensics. Calvin is also the recipient of the Cybersecurity and Digital Forensics Award. <laughs> Heidi Freitas for Biology. <laughs> Guilherme Lisboa for Computer Information Systems, Computer Science Transfer. <laughs> Daniela Lyons for Biology. <laughs> Jessica Noizo for Architectural and Civil Engineering Technology. <laughs> Luciano Nunez for Mechanical Engineering Technology. <laughs> Luke Pinchet for Engineering Science Transfer. Marina Pyrus for Computer Information Systems, Cybersecurity, and Digital Forensics. <laughs> Marina is also the recipient of the Computer Information Systems, Cybersecurity, and Digital Forensics Award. Brent Plant, Computer Information Systems, Cybersecurity, and Digital Forensics. Brent is also the recipient of the Computer Information Systems, Cybersecurity, and Digital Forensics Award. Paul Seabury, Paul is uh, receiving the award for Offshore Wind Power Technology. <laughs> Braden Smith for Biology. <laughs> it is now my pleasure to award the remaining Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Foundation scholarships. The All USA Academic Team Scholarship goes to Frank Polakovic and Melinda Amarantes. <laughs> Melinda is also the recipient of the John J. Sprague PhD Honors Book Award and the Edward Terrell Smith Jr. Memorial Scholarship. The Bristol Community College President's Merit Scholarship goes to Wilgens Sanon. <laughs> the Computer Programming and Web Development Award goes to Brandon Horn.
The Computer Science Transfer Award goes to Zachary Furtado, Elijah uh, Komolathan, Elizabeth Dvorsky, Nathan Rath, and Emma Ichikawa. At this time, I would like to welcome Captain Dave Banville and Lieutenant Chris Lecompte to the stage to help present the next award. The Fall River Fallen Firefighter Scholarship goes to Benjamin Paquette. Benjamin is a student in our fire science program and is also a Somerset firefighter and paramedic. Congratulations to all. Now, please welcome Dr. Andrew Fisher, Vice President for Academic Affairs, who will announce this year's highest academic achievement awards, along with the valedictorian and salutatorian. The Academic Achievement Awards are granted to those students graduating with an associate's degree who have earned 4.0 grade point average as of the end of the fall 2023 semester. As I call your name, please come to the stage and be recognized. Katherine Barton, General Studies. Caitlin Elisa Benoit, Fine Arts. Nicholas Botello, Computer Information Systems. <laughs> Leah Borelli, Human Services. <laughs> Nicole Clark, Health and Life Sciences. Faith Dill, General Studies. Lauren Domenico, Liberal Arts. Cole Matthew Enos, Life Sciences. Alexis Fieri, Liberal Arts, Behavioral and Social Sciences. Marissa Galloway, Liberal Arts, Behavioral and Life Sciences. Christy L. Grillo, Electrocardiography. Hadley E. Hunt, Liberal Arts. Thomas Kearns, Humanities. <laughs> Tanya Ann Latalippi, Substance Abuse Counseling. <laughs> Shannon Mahoney, Substance Abuse Counseling. A.J. Martino, Humanities. <laughs> Velma Rose McNamara, Thantology and Funeral Services, Preparatory Services. <laughs> Adriana Medeiros, Liberal Arts, Behavioral and Social Sciences. Mary Jane Manessis, Legal and Social Studies. <laughs> Ms. 
Zoe A. Miller, General Studies. Hunter Moreau, Liberal Arts and Behavioral Social Sciences. Kayla Page Pacheco, Life Sciences. Vanessa Pimentel, Office Administration. Ryan Ribirio, Business Administration Transfer. Abigail R. Roderick, Computer Programming. Amy Rodriguez, Occupational Therapy Assistant Program. James Santa Croce, Engineering Transfer. Haley Schramm, Art Transfer. Stephen Sheridan, Cybersecurity. Braden Smith, Biology. <laughs> Ashley Trenholm, General Studies, Health and Life Sciences. <laughs> Juan David Wheel, Computer Aided Design. <laughs> Congratulations to you all on this outstanding achievement. I now have the distinct honor of announcing our valedictorian and salutatorian of this year's graduating class. Each year, the college confers the honor of valedictorian to one graduating student who demonstrates outstanding academic excellence, while the title of salutatorian is granted to the runner-up. Students with a 4.0 GPA as of the fall semester are eligible and invited to apply for the honor of giving the valedictorian address. Among the applicants, two students are chosen to represent their classmates. They are selected for their academic excellence and the highest accumulation of credit hours. As I announce your name, please join us on the stage to be recognized. This year's salutatorian is Ryan Ribeiro, who has earned... Yes. Ryan will earn an Associate of Arts in Business Administration transfer. Ryan came to Bristol for an education that would allow him to shift careers from a previous trade to find his true passion, while taking mostly online classes in the college's Business Administration transfer program, Ryan found support from his dedicated professors and his family. He plans to continue his education at the University of Massachusetts, Dartmouth, with the goal of pursuing a career in the financial field. Congratulations again, Ryan. It is now my honor and privilege to introduce this year's valedictorian, Amy Rodriguez. Amy will graduate with an Associate of Science in the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program, as well as an Associate of Science in General Studies, Health and Life Sciences. While studying at Bristol, Amy has maintained a 4.0 GPA. <laughs> All while balancing family responsibilities and serving as the Massachusetts Rehabilitation Commission where she works closely with individuals planning to enter into the workforce or to live on their own. She credits her supportive, loving family and husband for their encouragement while she earned her degree. Let's give another round of applause for 2024 valedictorian and salutatorian.
Next, I'd like to welcome Brian Fernandes, Director of Athletics and Recreation, to the podium to recognize this year's student athletes. Thank you, and, and good evening. Uh, I'm pleased to present this year's athletic awards. Uh, these students have been recognized for their hard work uh, during their season and in the classroom. As I call your name, uh, please come to the stage to be recognized. The recipients for the Student Athlete Academic Achievement Awards are Dewan Glover, <laughs> Brianna Borges, <laughs> Tyler Holden, <laughs> Camden Morin, <laughs> Allison Nowinki. Okay, we got one. Gabriella Piscani. Erin Reed. Aiden Rock. Flavia Silva. and Sophie Wallace. Okay, good, I know they were here somewhere, so that's good. So for the next uh, award is the recipient for the Student Athlete High Academic Achievement Award. First is Jillian Abbott. Christian Camara. Carvins Garb. Gilme Lisboa. Abby Macedo. Madison Medeiros. Jordan Pacheco. Isaac Petruski. Genesis Price. Evandro Rodriguez. Megan Rose. <laughs> Isabelli Silva. <laughs> Sandra Saria. <laughs> and Diego Ukages. Yes, I was working on that one all day, so. So for our next award, we're gonna, we're gonna highlight two student athletes with the highest academic achievement. Those awards are for Hayden Caton, <laughs> and Heidi Freitas. It is now my pleasure to award the remaining Athletic and Recreation Awards. The first goes out to the Northeast All Region 21 Men's Soccer Honorable Mention for Jose Juarez. <laughs> Next is the Northeast All Region 21 Men's Soccer Team. Second team goes to Tyler Holden. Oh, 
And also men's soccer second team, Yusuf Ismail. The Northeast All Region 21 men's soccer first team goes to Jordan Pacheco. The Northeast All Region 21 men's basketball first team award winner is Marcus White. So three awards left. Um, I want to start with what we call our GRIT award. This is given to someone uh, that, that displays greatness, uh, resourcefulness, uh, integrity, and teamwork. So it's an award that we do every year for the athletic department. This year's GRIT award winner is Diego Euclid. Yes, it is a Bayhawk on that trophy. So two awards remaining. We have Outstanding Female and Outstanding Male Athlete of the Year. First, the Outstanding Female Athlete of the Year goes to Heidi Freitas. So for my last award of the night, um, it is going to go to a uh, male athlete uh, who is also uh, a two-year captain, who is also the recipient of the Northeast All Region 21 men's basketball team, Aiden Rock. Come on, I know you're faster than that. <laughs> Thank you all. Now, now I'd like to welcome Erin Smith, Civic Engagement Coordinator to the podium to recognize this year's Civic Engagement Leaders. Thank you. Hi everyone. Through volunteerism and civic participation, students at Bristol Community College can give back to their communities while enhancing their educational experience. The first award being given for volunteerism and civic participation is the Bristol Community College President's Volunteer Service Award. Students earn this distinction through either group service as part of a student club or through individual service of at least 100 hours to their community in a calendar year. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. The Commonwealth Honors Club, Melinda Amaratis, Catalina Arias, Aim Benson, Devin Martinez, and Adriana Medeiros. Awesome. The STEM Club, Melinda Amaratis, Elizabeth Dvorsky, Mariela Gonzalez, and Joseph Schneider. <laughs> For individual service, Jasmine Amin, Lauren Antus, Haley Bigelow, Tanisha Brandau Pina Barros, Naomi Carlson, Lindsay Ferreira, Jessica Gonzalez, Amanda Grant, Lydia Mansour, Isabella Marquez, Madison Martins, Kelsey Montanez, Melanie North, Sierra Pereira, Tina Fu. Kaliel Pyers, Denise Slinko, Angela Vargas Lopez, and Inna Zagvaz Zagvazdina. Sorry. <laughs> so our next award uh, is the Community Service Leader Award. Students receiving this award will be getting the red cord uh, to wear at graduation. 
The award is given to individual students who have completed at least 150 hours of service to their community or have individually led a self-designed project to address local community needs. These students are being recognized for their role as change agents and who have made a lasting impact. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. The recipients are Melinda Amarantes, Aim Benson, Nam Farag, Melissa Forts, Miriela Gonzalez, Melinda Hernandez, Hadley Hunt, Mackenzie Irwin, Sylvia Jones, Pascal Latouf, Nora Loftus Fessel, Devin Martinez, Isan Raghubanshi, Sean Richard, Olivia Rubino, and Lauren Wood. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I would like to welcome back to the podium Kate O'Hara, Vice President of Student Services and Enrollment Management. Thank you, Erin. Joining us this evening are the graduates of Bristol's Leadership Academy. These students spent nine weeks at a leadership training symposium that prepared them to be effective global citizens who engage in transforming their communities. Would graduates of the Student Leadership Academy please stand to be recognized? Also joining us this evening are our student success peer mentors and student ambassadors. These critical campus leadership roles work to enhance the student experience through mentoring support, programming, and resource connection. Would our peer mentors and student ambassadors please stand to be recognized? Finally, we would like to recognize our elected members of Bristol Student Senate who are with us tonight. The Student Senate is committed to promoting and protecting the rights of students and articulating student voices for advancing action and change. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Melinda Amarantes. Amanda Bartlett. Brandon Blanchard, Andrew Chenier, Michael Dufley, Nagam Farag, Adam Flores, Heidi Freitas, Sylvia Jones. Sylvia is also serving as our elected student trustee. Colby Karum, Clara Tara Langley Soares, Jacob Matoza, Devin Martinez, Colin McKean, Maximus Poole, and Amanda Scott. It is now my pleasure to welcome the Associate Vice President of Student Success, Joe DiMaria, who will announce this year's Bronze and Silver Shield Awards. The Bronze Shield Award is given to students who have provided continuous outstanding service to a student club or organization of the college. As I call your name, please come to the stage to be recognized. Melinda Amarantes, STEM Club.
Megan Como OTA Student Club. Elizabeth Zvorsky, STEM Club. <laughs> Lindsay Ferreira, Dental Hygiene Club. <laughs> Paige Godwin, The Hawk Student Newspaper. <laughs> Michaela Goncalves, Culinary Arts Club. Morella Gonzalez, STEM Club. <laughs> Devin Martinez, multiple clubs and activities. <laughs> Madison Medeiros, women's volleyball team. Kelsey Montanez, Dental Hygiene Club. <laughs> Melanie North, Dental Hygiene Club. <laughs> and Joseph Schneider, STEM Club. <laughs> the Silver Shield Award is given to students who have made significant contributions to Bristol Community College and are recognized for rendering outstanding service of consistent high quality to the college. As I call your name, please come to the stage to be recognized. Jackie Albernaz. <laughs> Mackenzie Canty. Alicia Coppin. <laughs> Celia Hiller. <laughs> Alexander Krasik. <laughs> Val Maldonado. Dominic Paquette. <laughs> Alana Robitale. <laughs> and Haley Scram. <laughs> Congratulations to all our award recipients and student leaders. I would now like to invite Kate O'Hara back to the podium to award members of the 2024 Scepter and Scroll Society. The Scepter and Scroll Award and membership to the Scepter and Scroll Society is given to students who have provided consistent and outstanding contributions of leadership and service to Bristol. As I call your name, please come to the stage to be recognized. This year's recipients are Aim Benson and Devin Martinez for their dedication serving students through Student and Family Engagement Student Clubs. <laughs> Sylvia Jones for dedication to serving students through the Student Veterans Center and Student Senate. Tyler Nato and Mackenzie Raposo for their dedication to serving students through the Culinary Arts Department and Club.
It is now my pleasure to welcome President Douglas back to the podium to award the Mason Shield and Newman Civic Fellow. Okay. Known as the President's Award, the Mace and Shield is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The Mace and Shield recipient was chosen out of the successful nominations of our Scepter and Shield Awards. This year's recipient has contributed to the college in numerous ways by volunteering her time to assist with culinary arts related activities and projects. She is a lab aide for the Culinary Arts Department, an active member of the Culinary Arts Club, and has volunteered her time to assist with fundraising ventures. It is my pleasure to announce Mackenzie Raposo as this year's Mace and Shield recipient. Congratulations, Mackenzie. You are an inspiration to us all, and we are grateful for your service to the college. One of the most prestigious volunteer service awards is the Newman Civic Fellowship. This national award honors inspiring college student leaders who have demonstrated an investment in finding solutions for challenges facing communities throughout the country. Through service, research, and advocacy, Newman Civic Fellows make the most of their college experiences to better understand themselves, the root causes of social issues, and effective mechanisms for creating lasting change. I would like to invite this year's recipient to the stage to be recognized. The recipient of this year's Newman Civic Fellows Award is Devin Martinez. Unfortunately, Devin could not be with us this evening, but we would like to recognize his hard work and leadership. Devin is an inspiration to us all, and we are grateful for his service to the college. Congratulations, Devin, on this very impressive achievement. And now back to Kate. Congratulations again to all of our recipients. Well done. In closing, I would like to thank all of the faculty and staff who have come tonight to support our students. Bristol Community College is a special place where students and educators join together in many settings, both in and out of the classroom. To all of our Bristol students, I thank you again for all of your hard work and congratulations on your accomplishments. We know that you will do great things in this world and we are so very proud of you. Student award recipients, please pick up your awards where you checked in before the event. As you exit the theater, you will find a reception with snacks and refreshments in the lobby. Special thank you to Epicurean Feast for tonight's post-event reception and a few other special thank yous as well. Thank you to our facilities crew, to our interpreters, to Dr. Bob Rezendiz for being here on stage to help present the awards tonight. And a special thank you to the members of the team who planned this event, Nicole Pickard, Andrea Van Ness, and Wendy Pimentel. Thank you so much for an incredible evening. 
Have a great evening, everyone, and hope to see you at the reception.